Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching The Legend of Korra, Book 4, Episode 9. Last episode, we had a bit of a recap episode. Yeah. It was a trip down memory lane. It was needed because I honestly did forget a lot of the smaller details of what happened. I mean, you're better at remembering like that kind of stuff but it was good for me as a refresher yeah i feel like it would be more important for those who are watching it more live yeah for us who have watched it continuously especially for me it was pretty fresh at the same time i feel like what it did well for me was reconnected me to the emotions of the journey yeah. the struggle everything we've been through which is just making what core is going through now more relatable more understandable mm -hmm. and as we near the end of the entire series, Crazy. it's just almost like a recap of everything we've done to get to this point. And this is, you know, going to be Korra's final act probably that we're going to see. It's going to be the final yeah. moment as Avatar that we're going to know unless they make like a movie spin off or something. Yeah. So it helped with that emotional attachment and, and connection. Well, I do find it interesting that, and I think it's very fitting and perfect timing because even when we're exploring Korra as a character right now, we are talking about all her previous enemies and villains and what she is struggling with. And so it was kind of good to get a recap of what was actually done to her. And then we can kind of pair that up with her emotion now and her trauma now. And I mean, we saw, I think a couple episodes ago that she still needed that growth, you know, after Toph. Toph gave her some tough love and it helped, but she's still got more growth to go. So, Of course, she's still very young. Yeah. So hopefully, I think that's just the direction we're going in. We're just kind of recapping everything, pairing the emotion with that, and then we're going to see that growth. I keep saying that I think this book is going to end differently. Mm -hmm. That's what it's hinting to me anyway. Both Tenzin and Toph are giving very similar advice to Cora, which is the past had to happen and there's a lot we can learn from each enemy, yeah. from each situation, each near death scenario. You can learn from it. It doesn't have to hold you in fear. You know, you can overcome it. So it's all about learning from the past and potentially doing things differently. Cora has been trying to do that. So I don't know if she's going to just bulldoze her way. I'm sure we'll see some badass core moments, but I've got a feeling that there might be a different solution because in, in a weird way as well, Kavira, she isn't as straight cut. I'd argue of all the, the villains, oh, I don't know. I don't want to say this too soon because she has done some questionable things, but she's almost the most... You don't believe it. You don't want to say it because you don't believe it. So... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I just feel like... You just notice something different with her compared to the rest. You just can't put your finger on it is what I'm saying. I don't know. She feels more, a little bit more relatable and a little bit less yeah. far gone. Yeah, right. I get it. With Amon, Zahia, and Unalok, I never felt like, all right, we're never going to change these guys' minds. We can't really correct their path. Like, they are going to die by their cause. So Kavira, you feel like she's reachable. Yes. I feel like Kavira, it's only been a few years, and I feel like we can still reach her. And so that yeah. part of me thinks can Cora somehow connect her or show her a better way and do this differently. I don't know. Interesting. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you do want to join the Spartan Pudgy family over there and get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. If you guys understood that, well done. All right. I know what to do. All right. Let's get into it. See. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all right. I'm not even gonna try anymore. Pudgy doesn't know what language she's speaking anymore. <laughs> what were you gonna say? See you. See you. We haven't started the episode yet. Pudgy doesn't even, even watch today, guys. <laughs> Ooh, it's Friday. It's Friday. That's my boy Ryu. He used to live in the basement, but then he got air bending. Oh, that guy. Oh wow. Oh my god. Just having the best time in the big city. <laughs> We're so proud. Right, honey? Well, at least he has a job now. Mom, Dad, I'm trying to work. He's wearing airbender clothes. Is he actually an airbender now? Yeah. Oh, damn. Remember Tenzin recruited him? Uh, is the spirit world in the ground below us? No. Uh, can I just get through my cards? 
Oh, honey, don't get flustered. I'm not. Oh, oh what God. an annoying mother. You can't work with your mom there, dude. You can't. Even though it's shitty job. I don't see anything about that on the cards. I'm gonna poke it with a stick. Oh, but why? Why would you poke you it with that? the stick? There's always one idiot. Even he's going, why would you do that? Ah. I mean, so oh, well. right, man. Honestly, dude, see you later. You're an idiot. Airbender ever. Is that because they came in the tree? Yeah, I think so, probably. It's fighting oh, bad. Oh, stupid Kavira. Guys, there you are. I just felt a weird surge of spiritual energy coming from the spirit wilds. Oh, shit. I love this new little team. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. That's what happened. So the tree's fighting against that. They don't give a shit. I saw her taking vines from the swamp. It must be affecting our spirit wilds. I bet that's what you were sensing, Janora. It is the connection to everything, so. This might help him convince the other leaders to finally take her down. I'll keep looking for Ryu and the others. Oh, I'd love to see the other ladies all, all team up. We march in with an army of highly trained badger moles. That's the Fire Lord. That's Zuko's daughter. Oh. Finally gets to meet her. She hasn't done anything aggressive toward the United Republic. Not yet. But Kuvira can't be trusted. She told us that she was going to turn over power and she didn't. I agree. Show of force. It's time. President Raiko, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, Avatar Korra. Why would they invite Korra to her? Yeah, like? I know. I told Raiko he should have invited you. Oh. You invited him, but not me? Please, Korra, it's not personal. We just thought, perhaps we called you back into action a little too soon. Oh, yeah, okay, I get, I get that. It. I get it, I get it, protecting her. But yeah, they invited Wu. Guys! Oh, perfect! You're all here! <laughs> Bolin? What are you doing here? Gods, remove these traitors! Oh, stop, traitors! We're hey. back on your side now! <laughs> we have top secret information for you! Tell them, Berlin! Oh, all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> Kavira's making this thing that goes boom! Ah! I don't know how it works. That's how I explain it. So. And let me guess, it has something to do with spirit vines. Yes, how did you know? Cora's new look is badass, I like it. The only way to protect ourselves is with a preemptive strike. My airbenders won't be part of an unprovoked attack. Neither will the Fire Nation. Oh, oh. different. The Fire Nation has spent too much of its history fighting nonsense wars. And I refuse to drag my nation into another one unless there's no other choice. Oh, shit. Interesting. I like the flip. I helped her take over the Earth Kingdom and topple your home and get your mom captured and your brothers and your dad. You're not helping your situation there, Berlin. <laughs> but I'm going to make it up to you. Pardon me, lovebirds, but I need a word with Opal. Privately. <laughs> There's no boundaries. This is an unsanctioned and dangerous mission into enemy territory. They're going to go by themselves. Berlin will go. I'm such an idiot. You tried to warn me about Kuvira, and I ran off anyway, like an idiot. You were right, and I'm just an idiot. Oh. He gets it. Ever since Kuvira kicked my butt, no one even wants me around. We want you around. And Bolin, you're not an idiot. You were just doing what you thought was right. Oh, I love you guys. I know, I, I love, love you too. guys. Oh. <laughs> This one. Oh my god. <laughs> the hostility. She's actually a beast. Weapon. Maybe it's good that she gets captured so that she can help everyone else. Oh, we'll see where he's taking her. Yeah. I love yeah, these. The vines! They're taking me! Help! 
Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I'm loving this episode. It's long. There's been absolutely no chill. I don't think anyone should be going in there right now. I know I'm not the old avatar I used to be, but I can do this. She's a new and improved, almost. Be careful. I love that trust as well. Wait, do you hear that? Oh shit. Look at them go. Epic duo. I love this. Cora, look. What are those? What the hell? Is that everyone that it captured? Yeah. They're in like incubators or some shit. What the hell? Maybe it needs new life because it's. Their spirits are trapped in the spirit world. Let's wow. go. Now. Don't. You'll provoke the vines. Let me try. Oh, this is Unalok's technique. Wow. Rash is struggling. Yeah. They well, probably them. fighting against her a lot. Maybe if I meditate into the spirit world, I can free them. It's almost like the tree's trying to create a new tree while the other one's getting destroyed or something. I don't know. Back in the spirit world. Last yeah, time we were here, we saw Zahia. Very different. This isn't the spirit world. Yeah. Hang on, is it real? Because you can't bend in the spirit world. Well, she said it wasn't the spirit world. You can't fight me and the poison. No, I got it out. Oh, it's back then. Cora. Oh shit, her trauma's really kicking her ass. It's like he's blocking me from meditating into the spirit world. I'm here for you. What do you need? It's the first time I she's come really clean and honest here. about it. Cora, he's too dangerous. Did you hear that? I need to if I want to save Janora and the others. There's no yeah. other way. Time oh, to face it. Oh, I knew that the reason they kept him. I'll be okay. Zahir's in prison deep in the mountains outside the city. I'll call Raiko and get the clearance. Thank you. Oh, dude, I can't believe this. This is epic. Yes. Hello, Pabu. Well, it's good to see you too. What do you got there? Don't tell me he's gonna. I feel like it's a bad idea. Oh my god. So this note Pabu brought me saying you broke both of your legs was just a ruse. Oh my Aww. god, Berlin. This will totally make me forget that you worked for Kuvira, the person who captured my family and is probably torturing them right now. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating bullets. We're so in love. I'm sorry you had to see that, Pabu. If you didn't get the memo, she ain't happy. But it's gonna have to work harder. When you took over my company and bombed the Southern Water Tribe Cultural Center? I own that building. A man has the right to blow up his own property. Oh my god. The justifications. If Kuvira really is creating a super weapon, we're going to need the two brightest minds in the city working together Ooh. to stop it. I like this. I like how he put that. Fine. I'll help. But don't mm. even think about double trust. <laughs> yes. I love yes, Asami. Asami. She's leaving her use out of just combat, you know? Like. Oh, I'm so hyped for this. I was praying we'd see him again. Yeah, I didn't know if it'd be this episode, so I didn't get too excited yet, but. I think if I see Zaheer chained up, I'll finally realize that he's not a threat anymore. I mean, I hope that's true, but I feel like it's going to be deeper than that. The chat will be awesome. I don't reckon it's gonna go all the way she thinks it will, though. No, I need to do this alone. Oh my God, look at how like they've got him really oh, no. with that. Wow. Holy oh, shit! shit. Later. He 
He's just flying and meditating. Wow. I came here to look you in the eye and tell you that you have no power over me. I will no longer be scared of you. Oh. Oh shit. Man's really testing that, isn't he? I know why you're here. You don't know anything about me. You can't go into the spirit world. Oh shit. This is your problem. Republic City is flowing with spiritual energy, and you can't even tap into it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You ruined me! People used to think I was unstoppable, but now they don't think I'm capable of anything! Blaming me is a crutch to make you feel better, but it's not helping you recover. It sounds like he really wants to help her as well, though. My powers have limits. You're wrong. That poison should have killed you, but you were able to fight it off. Oh! I say it's limitless. He's oh. really helping her. Yeah. Then you took out the Earth Queen and created the worst dictator the Earth Kingdom has ever seen. Thanks for that. I've heard rumors about her, but I didn't know she achieved so much power. She needs to be stopped. Oh! Right. In that they agree. I can't trust you. Maybe not. But if you had any other options, you wouldn't be here now, would you? We it's not wrong. Once, but for now, our interests align. Oh, this is interesting. I had a feeling he wouldn't like that, you know, she's taking control, not giving everyone that freedom. He doesn't even like the change that's happened. Yeah. Let it play out. Oh. Yeah. Stop Don't running. Don't stop it. I have no control. Don't be afraid. Hold on. Oh, wow. Wow. That oh. was nice by Sahia. I really felt that. Do you know where Janora and the others are? No, but you do. Damn, he almost feels like a father in that. You I kind of wish he was good. Rava, I missed you. Where have you been? I have always been inside of you. Can you help me find Janora? Yeah, let's go. She's been blocking everything out. Oh, Cora's coming back. But I'm powerless in the spirit world. No, you're most powerful here. In the spirit oh, wow. world, you're connected to all the spiritual energy. All right, let's see this, Cora. It would have been helpful if we knew that in book two. I know. They're all released. Badass Cora. Love to see it. Oh, I feel all spirity. Oh, what? Spirity. Oh, spirity. <laughs> oh, I'm so I... glad you're safe. And Cora's going to win everyone's faith back slowly, slowly. How did you get out? Cora saved us. Mm. <laughs> oh. You're finally able to forget about what Zaheer did to you? No. Don't need to forget. But I am finally able to accept what happened, and I think that's going to make me stronger. Couldn't agree more. I wanted to see more from them chatting. I wanted to see her and Zaheer chat. I think it was perfect. He gave everything that he needed to. All right, listen, before you go, I just want to tell you that I understand how you feel. I know there's nothing I could do or no big gesture that can make up for all my mistakes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying to win you back. Oh, Violin. I love you. Thanks for saying all of that. You're making ground, my friend. There is one thing you could do to win me back. What is it? Yes, I'll do anything. <laughs> Come on Come a with secret us. mission with us. Where to? Zalfu. <laughs> Look at the We're boxes. going to rescue my family. <laughs> all right. Violin looks determined. Oh, shit. I really, really loved and felt what Zaheer said. You don't have to avoid it. Like every time that she has kind of revisited that moment with Zaheer, she tries to shake it off, avoids it. And that really brings up scenarios of what if. And as soon as she let it play out, 
the brain kind of loses its imagination and it just plays out what actually happened and that fear kind of dissipates and it's actually really a beautiful way to kind of get rid of that fear like you're, it's still there and it's not going to be like this quick easy thing but like she said she can finally accept it and start to move on like she feels whole again which is quite nice and that'd be very relatable for you too yeah if you guys don't know what we're talking about check out the core alone reaction i agree it's not about pretending that the fear isn't there or it didn't happen yeah. but it is taking ownership over it facing it down so you can control it rather than letting it control you and i really like that it was it was honestly awesome to see her here again i was hoping we'd see him at least once so that I was like nice the new look. <laughs> I, I prefer this look i prefer this look i know there's people are gonna laugh that i didn't recognize him when he was bald <laughs> but i do prefer this look I, oh, I, I honestly i like him so much that same with amon that i wanted them to just be redeemed i wanted yeah. her to be like you know what i'll come back for you one day and and you know well in a way zahir was redeemed yeah i know but i want him to join their side, maybe even join the fight a little bit. Like, oh, it's cool. He's cool. What episode was this? Nine. Okay, we well, we've still got time, but it may not happen. <laughs> For me, this book so far is rivaling book one. Mm -hmm. For like, like book three is probably the best. Book one and four, they're quite close under. They're, they're, they're only a little bit, they're very close under. Like, okay. I've been really enjoying book four overall. Some of the really cool episodes. Yeah. I love the the journey, the emotional. It's been quite. It's I think been one of the most emotional. And we got to a point in book three where we felt like the character development had been it's reached its potential. Yeah. And then in book four, they really pushed that ceiling again. They created new barriers to push the characters forward yeah. to get deeper with them. And I I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so have I. This episode was another banger. I just start to finish. Really had fun with it. Really enjoyed every interaction, every conversation. You mentioned that we met the new the Fire Lord for the first time. We actually missed it, but when Kavira announced at that ceremony that she's announced that she's she taken over, there. she was there. Yeah, but it was the first time we properly heard her I, speak and get involved. More yeah. up close and personal. Yeah, it's interesting to see a Fire Lord that's very much about peace. Definitely Zuko's yeah. daughter, but she won't unnecessarily get into conflict. But I do like that, you know, they've learnt from their mistakes, they've learnt from the past and they don't want to head down that path again. And I do like, as she said, I'm not putting my people through that for no reason. Just like the Fire Lord, he did. It was for, look, he felt justified and whatnot, but really, in a sense, it was for no reason. It was for more power, which for one person, not for the whole nation. So I really do like this new perspective. I am still holding out a little bit of hope I would love to see the United Forces at least yeah. come into play. I feel like it's almost, it almost has to happen. It will be interesting. We've got I don't know if it four will. episodes left. So four episodes left of Korra. Can you believe that? No, that's crazy. Ooh, <laughs> that's, yeah, wow. That's crazy. It's going to hit hard. <laughs> yeah, that it will. That it will. I, the reason why I don't think it will happen is because Tenzin said, oh, they haven't done anything particularly to the Forces specifically so well, that was tense and not wanting to do the airbenders yes president Raiko said he would prepare them for defense not for yeah. offense but if yeah. kavira gets too out of control i feel like there's gonna have to, something's gonna have to happen the resolution might be peaceful or something but there, there's gonna be one big blowout at least yeah cora has overcome her fear i believe she's truly done it now in cora alone or with top episode it obviously wasn't enough just getting the poison out but i think facing down zahia reconnecting with her spiritual yeah. connection, which we've realized over time, she just couldn't feel and he sense anything the way that Janora could. And she says she feels whole again. So I think now Cora is back. Now yeah. we're going to see the Cora that we know and love at her full potential, yeah. untainted by fear. And the here was right. You know, we are different. We're never going to be the same people. And I think that's the beauty in it. You want to change. You wanted to find out the kind of avatar that you were going to be as in Cora. And I mean, this is it, you know, all the teachings and experiences and knowledge from all these people will bring that all together and then you become that person that you want to be, that avatar that you want to be. And I just love, I've got to throw it back, I love Zahir's line in her fear when she was choking and had the oxygen like that of her and he's like, let it play out. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't block it out, you know, let it play out, get through it. It's like, don't, because we, you know, it's very often it's like, that. oh, it's uncomfortable, don't want to go there, don't want to go there. And she had to go through it to access the other side of peace, you know? Well, that just like manifests that. the trauma. Anyways, this episode was jam-packed, like, 
full to the brim. I loved even just little reconnections with Berlin, Marco, Cora, you know, they're family. They don't need these big explanations. Like I get where you were com coming from and that's it. Opal's a bit hard, I get it, she's hurting. But Berlin's on a mission now with Opal and Lynn. Yeah, yeah, so, that would be cool. I, it's dangerous. Look, can they free Sue and a few people? Maybe, they can probably free a few people, but Cora's gonna have to get involved yeah. soon. Will Toph get involved as well? Because they're, they're destroying Toph's home. I, mm. I feel like we've got to see Toph coming family. to this. Yeah. Oh, I'd be so... If we get a scene of Toph with her daughters, I'm going to lose it. Epic. Like, I don't want to... I've it up. A lot of things we, we predict don't pan out. Hello. But if it does, I will lose it. That'll be so <laughs> cool. It is ironic what Zaheer said as well, where I can fly, but now I'm in chains, and you're free, and yet you can't do anything. Like, yeah. the irony in that, like, you know, you could... Oh, damn... I do, in a weird way, guys, I still feel bad for Zahia. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think he is a bad person deep down. I just don't know that his views just aligned. He had a too, too extreme of a, of a view with his idealism. Yeah, I think any side of an extreme is just not going to work. I think there does need to be a balance. And, I mean, book four, balance. Yeah, true. He's the only one living of his team, too. Everyone else died. Yeah, damn. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below. Screw the episode. <laughs> let us know what you thought of that core runs are here interaction. That was the standout. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.